Hey guys, it's Estee. Thanks so much for clicking on my face. So today's video is a little bit different. Um, I really, really, really wanted to do this just because I know that when I was first looking into this company, um, I couldn't really find anyone who made a video like this online. Also, even just looking on Instagram, sometimes it's hard to find, you know, the reviews or like opinions of people that are trustworthy. So in case you're, you know, out there and you trust my opinion on certain things, this video is uh, for you. So long and short, um, this video is going to be a review, if you will, of a company called Alt Fragrances. And really, it's just me talking about how much I love the company. This is not the first time that I bought um, that I bought product from them. Um, if you watched a video of mine a couple of weeks ago, I think it was the fall um, Fab, Fit Fab Fit Box unboxing. I also talked about um, some of my fall favorites in there, and Alt Fragrances is definitely a favorite that has now become a staple in my life. Um, so if you're interested in learning about this company, if you're interested in learning about the scents that I recently picked up for myself and my husband, then definitely keep watching. It's going to be short, sweet, you know, to the point, but, um, I definitely want to give you my opinion on certain things. Okay. First and foremost, this is not, um, at all sponsored. Um, I would love to work with all fragrances in the future, but as for right now, I'm not working with them. I bought these perfumes with my own money. Um, and... Let me have my laptop right here. Just tell you what All Fragrance is. This is a company that produces affordable uh, perfumes that are comparable to some of the luxury scents that you and I have come to love and adore and need in our lives. I went on this like mini rant a couple of weeks ago about how I've come to the realization that I just don't want to spend my money on perfumes because, you know, it's... A bottle and the bottle will empty um, as long as I smell good I really don't care about the price tag that I'm spending on smelling good you know I don't consider it an investment like I would you know a luxury bag or a pair of luxury shoes you know the bottles are pretty but you know for luxury fragrances the bottles are pretty but they finish and then you have to go back and buy another $300 bottle and nobody likes to do that. So um, that's how I stumbled across uh, this um, company. And what they do is they have scents that are inspired by some of our favorite, <laughs> some of our favorite luxury brands and luxury scents. And because they are inspired by, they don't always smell 100% like the, you know, $300 Tom Ford bottle that you might be used to, but they do give long lasting and beautiful scents and experiences with all the notes that you want for whatever season, whatever occasion that you have in mind, okay? So I'm gonna read this uh, straight from their website. It says, we stripped the marketing gimmicks, celebrity endorsements, and brand names no one can see anyway, so that inside your box, you will find a fragrance based on some of the world's most iconic scents created from the finest, clean, sustainable, and ethically sourced ingredients with an emphasis on low environmental impact, sustainability, and responsibility. So yes, this company is clean, um, vegan, it's cruelty-free, and with the minimal packaging, it is sustainable, you feel good about yourself because you're not hurting the environment <laughs> and you also feel good that you know what you smell good so looking good and smelling good it's important <laughs> and for people who um you know care about the the you know not only how they feel how they smell and then the environment and then also making sure that they're not like destroying their 401k <laughs> this company is definitely one um to check out there are there are other companies, obviously, that do something similar. Um, I've only purchased from um, from Alt Fragrances, so I can't speak on, you know, other companies that do scents inspired by luxury brands or luxury scents. I can only speak to this one, and I, I, as a connoisseur ish of scents and someone who has bought luxury fragrances in the past, I absolutely recommend them because they are, they are super close to perfect, if not perfect matches, okay? So um, let's start with the ones that I recently bought. I bought three perfumes 
um, well, three scents, um, two for me and one for my husband. I bought um, one, one of the ones that I bought was uh, intended, you know, specifically for um, a trip that we're going on very soon. And another one for myself is like my day-to-day -day perfume, which I love, love. And the third um, is a scent that I got for my husband. Um, it's one that he's worn previously, but obviously, you know, now it's in the alt uh, fragrance family, okay? So let's actually start with the one that I got for my day-to-day. -day. Um, and this is her, isn't she pretty? Oh, she's pretty. So yeah, this is what the bottles look like. They are, you know, rectangles, yeah, <laughs> rectangles. Um, they've got the silver capping. Some of them have gold capping um, just based on like the design of the label. I think all that goes into it, you know. Um, the spray is good. I'll, I'll spray it so you can see. It's a good even mist. I sprayed with my left hand, so that's why it looked like it was a little bit <laughs> lacking. But it's, oh, yes. So this is the, uh, hmm, let me get it right, Nico Tiana. Um, and this one is inspired by um, Tom Ford's uh, God help me. <laughs> this one is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinay. Um, and as someone who has owned the Tom Ford perfume, gosh, it's like filling my nostrils and making me feel so happy right now. It is like a 95% match. I believe this has a little bit more of the tobacco scent um, than like the vanilla that you would kind of get the mix in with the Tom Ford perfume if you were to buy it. But it's like spot on. People who know the Tom, Por Tom Ford, <laughs> people who know the Tom Ford perfume or the Tom Ford candle for that matter would definitely recognize this as, oh, oh, are you wearing? Yeah. So, you know, you might not care that much for Tom Ford. You might not care that much for brands, but let me tell you, this one is a showstopper. It's definitely a rich scent. It's definitely a fall scent. I'm the type of person that loves like the rich, musky, you know, kind of like oldish kind of grandma, not really old grandma, but like the musky, almost like manly sense year round. So it's definitely for me. Um, I can read from the alt website how they describe it. Inspired by Tobacco Vini, a few sprays will transport you to a wood paneled confines of a gentleman's club. Wow. Hmm. Um, where scents of tobacco flower, um, tonka bean and vanilla uh, dominate entirely. So yeah, it definitely has more tobacco in my opinion than the Tom Ford version of it, but it's it's beautiful. It's great. I love it. I wear it every day and get lots of compliments um, for my perfume nerds out there. Um, the top levels are tobacco leaf and spices. Middle, we have vanilla, tonka bean, tobacco flower, and co cacao, sorry. And then the base is woodsy, which Again, like I was explaining, is my favorite. <laughs> um, so the base is wood, woods and um, dry fruit cord. So yes, listen, listen, Linda. This is a must, especially with fall upon us. I 1,002% recommend this. I would definitely say order that, order it. Order it now, order it yesterday, order it last week. Next up is one that I ordered for vacation. We're going to Mexico uh, in the, the next week. So if you're watching this past Friday, then we're already in Mexico. Um, and this is the Peach Smash, which is um, da -da 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 -da. inspired by, again, Tom Ford Bitter Peach, another perfume that I have smelled. And girl, I was raving about the Nicotiana. Nico this one smells egg exactly like the Tom Ford perfume. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spray it right now because I've got the um, the other, you know, woodsy perfume in the air right now, but girl, this one is so good. It is so good. I bought it specifically for our vacation because it makes me think tropical. It makes me think vacation vibes. Um, I can read the description for you. Um, so, peach smash, <laughs> it's airy, fizzy, and heightened depth of natural peach. Peach smash, <laughs> I can't speak, is a youthful, juicy, and sweet, playful perfume um, that's peach through and through. 
um, distilled sugary, and most of all, strong blend of peachy notes um, that are balanced with a depth of creaminess and saddlewood, which girl, I love saddlewood. So it's definitely not your average fruity scent. It does have that, you know, muskiness, that earthiness that I love, but it's still more of like a spring, summer scent, um, like a nighttime summer scent. And because it's obviously still autumn, even though we're going on vacation to somewhere tropical, I definitely wanted to have this for my scent of the, um, of the vacation. Side note, tangentially, um, if you ever want to like heighten your experience for a trip or an occasion, definitely buy a scent that you use like, you know, solely on that trip or for that event um, so that every time you smell it, you think about that trip or that event. Similarly to how my husband and I gifted each other um, uh, perfumes and colognes for our wedding day so that now whenever I smell um, my Lady Dior, I know I'm thinking about my wedding day. So there we are <laughs> all with that thought. I'm sure I've said that before, but let me read to you what the um, notes are. On top, we have um, peach, blood orange. Um, in the middle, we have uh, the jasmine, jasmine rum. And then at the base, we have saddlewood, vanilla, and tonka bean. So very good. Like I said, it's definitely a very, 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 very close match. So if you're interested in getting this, of course, just because I've been saying it's fall, it's fall, it's fall, doesn't mean that you can't use it. You can smell whatever you want to smell like, honey. <laughs> um, then definitely check this out as well. Um, I feel like if you smell these perfumes, it's a great, great way to use them. Um, and save money. But also, if you've not smell these if you've not like experienced a tom ford cologne before um then this is a great way to you know use it day to day obviously you can go to sephora and spray it and love it and say hey i want this but you also want to see how it fits on your body chemistry um you know throughout the day if it's something that you want to smell like if it's something that you want to feel in your head for 12 hours at a time then i would definitely recommend using this as a way to you know dabble and then take the plunge if you feel so inclined. <laughs> and then last, I have this one I got from my little lovey. So this is the, I believe it's pronounced Farouche. <laughs> um, and it's inspired by, we call it the Johnny Depp cologne. Um, so this one, my husband loves and he's repurchased uh, the like original scent many times. And we went into Sephora the other day and we were looking just looking, browsing, and he picked up the bottle. And I was like, dude, don't, because I got you something. And this is something that I got, sort of like, whoo, sort of like um, the Peach Splash. This is a one-for-one -one match. Get this for your man. I'm telling you, but be prepared to have a baby. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I can read uh, the description for you. Potent and sensual. Uh, this perfume knows how to make an impression. Um, being a versatile scent, it's both well suited for casual daytime um, or for an allure of a night out. So very, very, very true. <laughs> um, so let's see. On the top, we have bergamot. Um, we have middle pepper and lavender. And then um, at the base, we have patchouli. Girl, I don't know if I see obviously this is a male sense right but if you like it for yourself go ahead um, I don't know that I would say oh one of those ingredients or one of those scents you know one of those notes is like calling to me but mixed together chef's kiss chef's kiss definitely I'm a fan my husband's a fan most people who smell him are also a fan so you know, you can take my word for it, you take his word for it, whatever. But it's definitely something worth looking into. Okay, guys, I know that that was silly and kind of informative, kind of like a wild video. But I really, really, really wanted to get on here because I've been talking about all fragrances with my friends and with my family for a while now. And I definitely wanted you guys to be aware of it as well because I, I guess, you know, not many people know about it. And... By all means, if you want to spend your money on luxury scents and luxury perfumes, go for it. I'm not telling you what you spend your money on. Some people, you know, 
spend their money on vacation, some people spend their money on food, some people spend their money on luxury bags, some people do it for, you know, cars and, you know, houses and all the things. So like if you want to invest your time and energy and coin into perfumes, because obviously, you know, the little Instagrammable section in your closet with all of the perfumes lined up beautifully, that is appealing. That is, you know, I get it. So don't let me be the one to tell you what to do with your money. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you to let you know what I'm going to be doing with my money. I'm be giving it to all fragrances. <laughs> So that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Let me know if you've tried this company before. Let me know if you have, you know, reservations or if, you know, you're down for the cause. Let me know if you tried a perfume from them before, if you recommend any to me. Let your girl know. Um, and I'll definitely check it out because this will not be my last purchase. Believe you me. <laughs> um, then let's see. Oh, the other thing is, like I alluded to, Gage and I are going to be going on vacation. So next week there will not be a video, but I will be vlogging. So be on the lookout for at least one Mexico vlog um, coming to you after we return. Okay, so that's it. I think, you know, that's all I have to talk about today. But there's so much, you know, good stuff happening. Elijah is about to turn 11 months. So that means that next month he's turning a year old and your girl has a birthday party to plan. So I'm very excited. Also, Gage and I... Our birthdays are also next month, aka why we're going to Mexico now. Um, Gage's birthday is the 1st of November. So, yeah, he's turning 30, and this year I'm turning 29. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> but as always, you can connect with us on social media. If you want to follow along with our Mexico vacation, <laughs> then definitely follow us on Instagram. Um, follow us on Twitter. Um, I don't know where else. I have a TikTok now, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, we'll be back real soon with new cool stuff. Make sure you go get yourself some cute perfumes. Okay, bye. I gotta go.